host of the series, All on the Line with Joe Z on Sunday's channel. So, Joe, you've had this series. You're about to start your third series. Give us uh, an idea of what your inspiration was to start All on the Line. Well, you know, All on the Line was really to show another fragment of the age of the industry that people didn't really know. I think people think fashion is really about glitz and glamour and red carpet when there's really that hardworking designer that just loves it and is dedicated and passionate and wants it to work. I mean, not unlike Whitney Port, you know, where you just work to the bone to get it up and going. And I think those people are really you know, such hard workers, I think they just deserve the limelight. And I think all, what I do is come in and sort of be their mentor and really help them get over that hurdle, you know, and be able to sort of shed light on how to make their business work when it isn't working. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, you know. There's not a fairy tale ending in life, and I think that's what I love about the show. Right. So who are some of the, uh, the designers that you feel like have been the most successful that you're really excited about? Well, I mean, we, during season one and season two, we've had phenomenal success with a lot of different designers. I've been able to get them into Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom and Kierna Zabet. You know, I think Gemma Khan in season one was a big success. Certainly Rad and Roro, you know, got a huge order, and they're still moving forward with Nordstrom. And, you know, this season, even working with someone like Nicole Miller, and you think someone like Nicole Miller, you know, isn't in need of help, but you realize that problems can be universal, that it's not always financial. There is always a way to make your business better. Yeah, I became a fan when I saw the Nicole Miller segment because it just opened my mind. And I actually attended her show last fall and I was blown away by what I saw on the runway. And then when I actually saw this segment, I was like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, it was amazing how much you helped direct her. And then I love the on the street. Uh, where you know grabbing were, the grabbing the guys yeah, off the tree. Yeah, like the focus groups. You know, that was awesome. Well, I love doing that. You know, I yeah. think it was important to do a focus group, but it's important to get real opinions from people that matter. I mean, we can get a bunch of people in the room, but if they're not your real customers, who right. cares what they have to exactly. say? And I think, you know, the Nicole Miller was an interesting case study because just because you make, what, $650 million a year does not mean you can't be better and does not mean you don't have problems. Right, right. So can you give us a hint of who's going to be on this season? Bigger, better, more bold-faced names, more drama, more celebrities, more great designs, I think more clothes. I think it's just really what everybody wants to see. Right. And they really, I think everybody's interested in seeing what happens with these designers. Right. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, I really God, appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. I'm thinking.